I want to say welcome to you guys I'm sorry I must apologize last week there was no reading because I have done so much reading and I was doing so much reading and you can't abuse um, your gifts I'm so sorry um, but here we go with a second week of January this is second week of January starting from the 18 until the 14 this is going to be a wonderful time um, this is going to be a good time so here we go okay let's look and see what is happening because I'm telling you you are a sign are coming up with some energy set is unbelievable um, um, yeah so we are now looking at a situation that is happening for us and we are going to be understanding what situation is happening this week is a water week and the zodiac energy is the energy of the hurt the energy of the hurt so here we are it is going to be a family situation in this week whatever the situation whatever that is transpiring it's going to be a family situation in this week because it is going to be um, a soul family situation it's going to be karmatic situation so it's going to be a, a family situation in this week okay so um, let's look forward and see um, what is happening for you cancers on Monday you have your own energy vibration Monday is going to be a very very good day for you guys Monday and um, Thursday is going to be a very good day for you cancer so this is going to be wonderful as we move forward and we look um, at Tuesday uh, my uh, uh, sorry Tuesday is going to be a, um, a very very good positive days for um, you um, cancers who are between the ages of 25 and 45 okay um, you cancers between the ages of 25 and 45 is going to move towards uh, um, someone um, who is an earth sign person okay this uh, can be also that you um, Pisces or you can says my sorry you can says are going to be um, um, uh, bringing stability to your materialistic world and this is going to be good okay you can says are going to be connected with this um, person so some of you on Thursday are going to have to deal with the energy of uh, um, the Capricorns the energy of the Capricorn some of you are going to be dealing with the energies of the Capricorn this is the energy of the Empress this is the mother of uh, nurturing and the mother of your materialistic world and you are have to be building um, you are going to be building a, a relationship with this person or this person is going to enter your life and to help you up on your foot okay so um, this is going to be good here some of you could be starting a relationship with this person this person is the older person than you are this person is um, very focused very balanced very stable because that is the energy of the Capricorns and you people um, are going to be focusing and building this relationship um, with the energy it could be somebody who is a Taurus too. it can be the Capricorn or the Taurus it's not the Burgos but it's the Capricorn and the Taurus and you're moving towards um, this person um, because this person has so many um, wonderful um, um, characteristic and that sort of a thing and um, you realize that this is the other half of you and you're moving towards this person because this person bring and have um, a strong um, stability and that sort of a thing in um, their lives and you really really feel so connected to this person for some of you cancers there is going to be conflicts as I said this is a week of a karmatic situation that is happening in your world so um, it could be you're having conflicts at home and this is why you're being pushed towards this Taurus or Capricorn person and the conflicts we're going to look at where the conflicts are coming from because the conflicts are, um, are coming from um, it, it can be um, in a little conflicts for because it's the moon is here so it's happening to you guys so it can be in a little conflicts as to what direction to go to because obviously there is conflicts because um, there are in a little conflicts that is happening to you have the page of one so a message is going to come to you about work or um, a message 
um, is going to come to you about work or a message is going to come but this message that is coming um, okay this message that is coming be aware of who is bringing the message and what the message is saying okay because you have the energy of the devil on Sunday this is Saturday you're going to receive a message on Sunday you have the message of the the, the energy of the devil so we're going to break down your week to look and see what is happening because there is a lot of things that is playing out you have information that is coming in and this information has to do with um, um, family immediate family of your soul family and it is as if the universe is beckoning to you and pushing you and someone together because you were meant to be together it can be that sort of a thing because what I'm seeing here playing out and this is um, what I'm seeing here playing out is that most of you is as if your intuition is guiding you especially for the people this is a message for people between the ages of 25 and 45 your intuition is guiding you towards someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn I, and, and it's more of a Taurus and a Capricorn person there is where your love lie It's as if your intuition because you have the energy of the moon which is your intuition and guidance is moving you because you're moving towards this person because um, you are facing this person you're going towards this person so um, where is the face you're going towards this person this is how it is you are moving towards this person and you, why is because this person is someone which it should be here like this this is how it is this person is a soul family this person you have come connect with with lifetime and lifetime before and it is your soul family it is your your twin seal or your soulmate and it's as if this week because that's how the cards First, the moon, then you, then this lady, and she is uh, this this woman or man is a very prominent person. It's a person that is has um, their foot on the ground. It's a very prominent permanent person that has their foot on the ground that has balance, and uh, your intuition is pushing you to this person because it is your soulmate or um, and a twin flame. Okay, we're going to look at that and we're going to see what happened. But there is conflicts, there's inner liquor conflicts. You're having inner liquor conflicts because your um your guide, your your guided angels and guides are letting you know this, but you're having inner liquor conflicts because some of you are already in a relationship. So what is happening is that this is a, a strong in uh, conflicts that you're having within you because you're saying how comes I'm so pushed so drawn to this person uh, but yet still I, I I am in a relationship and you're having conflicts to understand what is going on because you are being pushed in this week is um, your guides an angel because it is a uh, a karmatic situation it is a family situation it's as if some of you in this week are about to meet your twin flame or soul flame or you have met someone have been seeing this person for a while and realizing that this person um, the relationship that you have the feelings that you have is growing so strong and it is moving you to this person unconsciously um, and there is this conflicts but news is going to come okay news is going to come or you are going to um, say something to this person and um, the energy um, there is a form of negative energy that is working against you you both it's as if there is because um, obviously some of you are in this relationship you're in another relationship for some people who are not in a relationship um, and for the people for some people who are not in a relationship is going to listen to their guidance and move forward it's just that within you you're wondering oh my god how comes I have such a strong attraction does this person have the same attraction would this person want to be with me and that sort of a thing but for the other people you're in a relationship with someone who is an Aries so 
uh, with someone who is an Aries and this person is it's as if they know that there is someone else this person knows that there is someone else whatever the situation is this person know that there is someone else um, let's kind of examine and see what is going on what is happening between I should ask for the first one what is happening between your intuition the moon and yourself what is happening what is taking place Wow yeah the um, there is a man there is someone who is um, the knight of wands uh, Oh, this is a, um, an energy of an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Let's see what else is happening. Um, six and two, eight. You're leaving. Um, you're receiving a, 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 a information, and you're leaving this situation behind. Um, you are moving towards. You're getting a message. Um, this message is that you're leaving this situation behind. You're having conflicts with someone who's a, and you're leaving the situation behind. Let's see what's happening with the devil and the lovers. Um, it is a, a soul family connection. It is a soul family connection. Okay, there is something that is happening with the organization. There is money that is um, coming out. Okay, so okay, as I look at this, the energy of the devil, which is. And, you know the energy there is someone the knight of wands um, that you're having conflicts with you people are having conflicts with the knight of one okay whatever the situation is that you people are having um, conflicts with the knight of one there is a message that is coming out this message is going to be um, you that you should move on and leave this person and move on which this is the energy of um, um, the eight of cups which you're receiving a message that you should but you can't because you know that this is the person for you then you have another energy that is happening and this is the energy that you know within yourself that um, this love affair that is going on with this earth sign person that it is your soulmate so what is happening for you Kansas Monday um, um, is that uh, it's as if someone this knight of ones is telling you you know move away from this relationship leave this person because you know you are going to be um, bringing yourself in you know whatever situation whatever that is transpiring here and 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 then you are going to see this situation that um, you you got a message to move away from this person you're going to think no I'm not doing this because this person is my my soulmate my twin flame I've known this person in a, in a lifetime before because that's the same energy the six of the six of cups you have it twice there is information that is coming in you're going to realize that this is the love of your life okay this is your soulmate because the six of cup comes back together so the, the energy vibration of this week is all about um, soulmates twin flame and uh, meeting them and having connection with them and situation and here you have the energy of the six of cups which is uh, um, this energy that is saying um, you know because before you have that you um, um, are thinking or you got a message to move on and leave this because there's a conflict you're having clung it some of you are having conflicts with yourself some of you are having conflicts with someone who is uh, um, the knight of wands okay so um, it is up to you what you do and um, yeah a lot of people are married and in relationship and meet their soulmate and that sort of a thing and sometimes other people outside or you know wants to let you know that and wants to tell you what to do with your life you know not to you know but it's up to you what you do and um, you know this is uh, um, whatever is happening this is good 
okay um let's see what else is happening i don't know about the readings this week but they are these reading this week is something else spirits awake so for you guys it's spirits awake and that is true because you have the energy of your own energy the moon so it's a it's as if you are awakened you are awakened because it's as if your spirits awake you and let you know that this lady this Taurus or Capricorn person or Virgo person is the love of your life and it's as if you can see the angels trying to put you two together because they know that this is the person who is for you but yet still you're having conflicts some of you with yourself or you're having conflicts with someone who is the night the, the night of wands and whatever is happening with this conflicts um, it, you know it's as if he is saying to you leave the situation but he's not he's not doing this in the best of your interests he is doing this because he wished that he had that and it's not happening that's why he's telling you to leave that situation there's a message that is going to come in to say that you should leave the situation whatever is happening you are bounded it's as if this situation you know um, within your soul that this is the person for you it's not you know you really know within your soul that this is the person for you and what is happening is that you're bound to this person and it's not only sex but it is that this you know within your true self in your heart and mind and soul that is your soulmate or twin flame okay so a spirit awaken in this week for you guys um, I embrace my soul purpose align all aspects of my life to it fully so this is what you are having is as if you meet someone some of you are married some of you are in relationship and you have met someone in this week and it's very uh, no before it's as if it's has been a good friend and now it becomes a, a lover and that sort of a thing and um, there is someone as if your brother or your friend is saying you know be careful because you know you might get in the problem and that sort of a thing and you get get a message from him saying that you know it is better that you leave this person and you're thinking no I can't because it's as if I'm bounded to this person because I can't do without this person and sometimes people do not understand that um, there is an um, a magnetic attachment especially when you have these twin flame and soulmate relationships where you tend to quarrel a lot but you love that person so much that you know you can't understand how um, how is this possible that we quarrel so much but yet still we love each other we don't want to leave each other we don't want to lose each other and this is what is happening <laughs> and, and that is a soulmate and a twin flame because obviously the energy of the six of uh, um, cups the energy of the six of cups is always a soulmate and a twin flame relationship and it's as if you are bounded to each other and this is not love or sex this is not sex and it could be sex but good sex but it is a connection of your other partner coming together with you and this is not very easy to explain to someone because here is someone that is saying to you you know stop what you're doing you know leave this relationship you know be careful what you do but this person is jealous of what you have this person I've never felt this and can never connect to what you're having and um, this is the message that is happening so it's up to you what you do ladies and gentlemen I gotta go <laughs> we will talk next time bye